and we're back and I told you all we were going to have an amazing guest and now we have brother James Morris who is certainly our minister of music and I'm just excited brother James to have you as a part of the team here at Easy and Fair it is a privilege and an honor to have you and I pray that you will be with us until times are no more amen, amen. but listen we we are doing something in our coffee with Dr. Curry that's a little different right now we're really talking about the infrastructure of our church and who really are the forces behind all the great and amazing things that people witness beyond the move of, of God, uh, that people witness the rehearsals and things of that nature that has to happen behind the scene. So before we get into the details, just, just share with Ezai and Fair, the community, the world who will be looking at this interview, who is James Mars? Well, James Mars is a uh, humble servant, number one. Uh, I'm a believer. I love Jesus Christ. Amen. Uh, I am saved, filled with the Holy Ghost. Uh, I'm a family man. Amen. I have a wife, two beautiful kids, uh, and uh, God is good. I uh, personally, I uh, I love. Uh, being here at East Island Fair. And first, let me say thank you for having me on Coffee Talk. Uh, I'm very <laughs> honored to be here at uh, East Island Fair. Yeah. And so uh, looking forward to uh, many years Amen. of uh, ministry excellence, yeah. you know, because uh, I believe in, uh, uh, I believe that East Island works in excellence. I've seen it for myself and uh, I'm happy to be a part of it. Well, thank you. Amen. So, so you said all of those wonderful accolades about Ezai and Fair, mm -hmm. but I have not heard you tell us a little bit about, well, you did tell us a little bit because you told mm -hmm. us that you were saved, sanctified, filled with the Holy Spirit, which, mm -hmm. which I really wanted to plug in real quick mm -hmm. because it is wonderful, it's refreshing mm -hmm. to hear a, a minister of music, a person mm -hmm. who loves music but loves the maker over the music. Yes. And I think that's why your, your playing and so much you do is so effective mm -hmm. and we're appreciative for that. Mm -hmm. But tell me a little bit about, you know, the private life. Tell me a little bit about you know um, the professional life so we can start with the private life about the James Mars well let me tell you a little bit about my, my first my growing so that way you can okay. understand uh, so uh, I was born in Chester oh. Chester Pennsylvania and uh, my mother was uh, the minister of music at New Bethel Church of God in Christ so I'm, oh I'm a Kojic yeah I'm Kojic to the heart <laughs> and so uh, uh, I started playing when I was three years old Wow. and uh, around eight years old my mother finally got me on the organ and she said you gonna play boy and I didn't want to play <laughs> you know I wanted to be a drummer right. oh. I, and I was a drummer for at least five years mm -hmm. and um, I, I was just dabbling around and you know soon it started to turn into chords and then uh, God has blessed me through uh, my teenage years I was minister of music uh, of a, a church uh, St. Matthew's in Twin Oaks yeah, okay. and then um, uh, I went to my uncle's church uh, Reverend Herbert Owens oh wow and, yes and Belvedere yes and yes. so uh, I was with their youth choir and the next church that I was with after that uh oh <laughs> <laughs> easy and fair wow but it yeah. was under the leadership of uh, Pastor Rufus Johnson yes yes great pastor yes um, uh, I was with the youth ministry for about five years wow and uh, I, I served under Sister Diane, and uh, it was a great, it was a great ministry even then. Yes. You know, uh, I, yes. the excellence was even imparted not only into me but into the church at that right. time. And so, uh, that really was like my first professional uh, situation happened where um, Minister Harry Woodhouse Harris, who's no longer here, mm -hmm. uh, he was he. Uh, he was the one who got me into that position mm. and he was very hard on me okay. and he told me he said listen you have to understand you have to be professional in every situation yeah and even though you're a teen you're learning now and when i didn't do right he got on me hard yeah and and he let me know do a good job and be on time mm. and do what you're supposed to do um if you're not ready don't walk into it you know it's really funny you just shared earlier that you were thought you were a few minutes late and in actuality you really were on time matter of fact you were two minutes early mm -hmm. uh, but we come from that school of thought where you you, you if you're on time you're late mm -hmm. and, and and it's good to hear that even in your during your time uh, when you was being formed mm -hmm. you had people telling you that if you are to be great you mm -hmm. have to make sure you take care of your responsibility that's really good well, I really appreciate that but go ahead and finish well I, I've always believed you know if you if you say you you're a servant. Mm -hmm. Servitude is is, yes. is what you need yes. to uh, uh, exude, and. Uh 
if you are like like you said if you're on time you are late mm -hmm. because if people are waiting on you and you're supposed to be in leadership mm -hmm. then that's just a bad example I can't tell other people mm -hmm. to be on time people who are following you people who are under your uh, the type of ministry that you're leading mm -hmm. uh, you can't tell them to be on time and you're late right you know if something happened that's different but other than, other than that you should always be prepared yes be on time yes and um, do your job well yeah. That's what I believe. Yeah. yeah. So you were sharing with us how um, you, 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 how you, you really formed, how you were formed. You had those who were strong, making sure that you do what you needed to do, regardless of where you were, whether mm -hmm. you being young and then growing to be stronger. Mm -hmm. And then you were getting ready to talk a little bit about your, your, your personal life beyond just your formative time. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, I, uh, as I said, I do have a lovely wife who okay. loves this church as well. Oh, my God. <laughs> She's the greatest cheerleader that we will ever have. I mean, I, I be preaching on Sundays at the outside. As a matter of fact, two weeks in a row, she's been absent. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to have to dismiss her from our congregation. But for two weeks, she's been absent. But she's one of the strongest cheerleaders. Yes, I like her is. more than I like you. Yeah, see? <laughs> <laughs> and you know what? She loves this ministry. Yeah. And she loves the fact that you prepare the word. You don't yeah. just come up there and, and, and just, you know, go for what you know. You actually study. And that's what she appreciates. Mm. But um, I have a lovely wife, two beautiful kids. Yes. We just actually came off vacation. Yes. And so uh, we had a great time. Wait a minute. Have you been tested? I, I better be careful. I'm, actually, I'm, I'm actually going to get you tested got, tomorrow. So <laughs> I'll be all right. You know, we did but, take your temperature, though. Yeah. And we yeah, did okay. make sure that you were fine. Go ahead. All right. Awesome. Awesome. So, but uh, uh, I I love my family. Yeah. Uh, I've been married uh, five years. Yeah. And I actually got married at this church. Yes, I'm told. Yeah. Yeah. I got married at this church. And, uh, you know, we, my wife was the only one that you moved the pulpit for. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you've told that story twice and it's really interesting because we don't move that pulpit. Exactly. So, exactly. But we knew that y'all had a show to be made so we made sure we had permitted it. <laughs> and you know she she just you know she, she loved it then and you know we, we just love it now and so uh, but uh, we uh, live in Newcastle okay and so um, I am she's a chef I love to barbecue oh, okay you know I am the the, the cube man in the house so you know you'll mainly see me you know in the back you know uh, barbecue on a smoke and I love to smoke for hours that's my thing ribs brisket. Well, well, you talk that you said you were Kojic and you said so that means your holiness when you say you love to smoke could you clarify that okay, because there's some sorry. people are listening okay, and yeah. they're gonna swear you're talking about tobacco no 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 I'm or that other stuff smoking meat okay very good that, <laughs> that makes me feel that. much better now go ahead I gotta say, I'm, no, smoking meat, so, uh, but 12 hours, 14 hours, go back there and just relax, you know, and just get a good glass of lemonade and just, just relax and just, uh, you know, listen to some good music, mm -hmm. you know, so yeah. I, I appreciate those times. Yes, yes, and that's, that's excellent. And, and, and I heard while you were interviewing for the position that you won an international award, and, and you can help me to understand what that award is and what it was all about, and what, 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 how did it all come about? Well, I've always um, been a fan of not only gospel, but all music. Yes. And um, I believe I've always had the, um, uh, my uh, motto has always been, uh, I am a musician that loves Jesus Christ, mm -hmm. but I love all music, yes. classical, yes. R&B, neo soul, whatever you have. And so uh, I've always been in... Um, the music world with r and I've always been in the music world with um, um, Neo Soul, even some rock bands. Mm -hmm. uh, however, uh, gospel was always the favorite. Right, it right. was always what I was yeah. strong in, and so that's where I've always, um, I guess, succeeded mm -hmm. in, in what I needed to do. Mm -hmm. So, I won uh, the Grammy uh, for songwriting for uh, Layla Hathaway's album. Okay. Back in 2015 for her live album. Mm. Uh, it was a song on there called Mirror. Mirror. And, you know, yeah. And so, uh, but it's a funny story how that came. Uh, the song was presented to Alicia Keys and it was presented to Mary J. Blige and it was presented to a few others. And they said, we love the song. We love the music. 
it sounds churchy. <laughs> <laughs> because you know what? That's what always happens. Yeah. It doesn't matter if you wherever you are, if churchy is in you, it's always going to come out that way. It sounds churchy. Uh -huh. And so uh, it was presented to Layla, and she took it and loved the music and kept it. Okay. And so uh, I was able to get composer credit and songwriting credit for that. And mm. so uh, when we heard that on, on the t television, what, we, we danced in the house. We, we just, I couldn't sleep that night. I was just so happy. And it was just really, really a momentous, momentous occasion yeah. uh, for me. You know, when, when we were interviewing you, we did that Zoom meeting. We saw behind you that Emmy, and we were very proud of you for that. Listen, we're going to take a commercial break, and we're going to come right back right. in just a moment. God bless. And welcome back. I'm still having this conversation, this wonderful conversation with our minister of music, brother James Morris. And we just just enjoying each other, even though I'm the only one with a cup of coffee today, which I make that joke to everyone. We starve everyone else. I'll just keep the coffee so that I can have the power. But real quickly, um, thank you for sharing so much you've shared with us about your personal life, about your love for music, about your love for the Lord. We appreciate all of that. You've been with Ezion Fair for the past, I guess, month. Mm -hmm. Share with me how things have been going honestly uh i love it i uh, and I, I couldn't say it any better than that you know it's, it's some musicians they they like what they do right. and they like their position mm -hmm. um i've actually grown to love this position uh, not just because of the position itself but the people mm -hmm. when i uh interview for this position i kept hearing well the people are so wonderful and the people i even had one of uh, one of my good friends come down here and um, uh, uh, he was playing uh, Terrence Gilmore oh yeah yeah he was yes. here and uh, he said the same thing he said man you're gonna do awesome here the people are so nice I mean I want it for nothing and as soon as I got here it was exactly how he said it would be and I've wanted for nothing. The people have have been awesome. Uh, everything that has been explained about Ezion has been true. Uh, everything. Love here. <laughs> everything. Amen. The good. Okay. Amen. Amen. <laughs> the, but it's uh, the atmosphere is wonderful. Mm -hmm. The praise is surely in the house, okay. and the Holy Ghost is here, and the Word is rich, and you know what more could could you ask for? You know? Yeah, you know, I a personal confession, real quickly. I I I really went into deep prayer. Mm -hmm to God about our music ministry. Um, Ezion Fair is known. I was taught as a young pastor by my mentors mm -hmm. that if you want to build the church, number one, make sure the word of God is strong, mm -hmm. be prepared, mm -hmm. and make sure that you're giving and feeding the people. Mm -hmm. But the thing that comes right behind it mm -hmm. is that make sure that the music is appropriate. Mm -hmm. Because if the preaching and the music is good, yeah. the people will come, the people will be healed, and the mm -hmm. people will be delivered. And listen, I prayed hard mm -hmm. because I know Zion Fair has always had an outstanding music ministry. Yes. We were in a dilemma at the current time that we were praying hard that God, you send the person mm -hmm. and make the way easy. And matter of yeah. fact, when you said that during your interview that you said to the Lord, because you're coming from a very noted ministry. Mm -hmm. You're not coming from around a corner somewhere. Right. You're coming from a very noted ministry. And when you said you, you prayed somewhat the same way, mm -hmm. that Lord, if this is for me, mm -hmm. then make sure that everything is made easy. And that's right. what God did and that that marriage that we have formed uh, was made easy by God and I really appreciate you mm -hmm. and I really appreciate uh, the time that you've been with us so far and listen all of the wonderful conversations that I've had regarding you mm -hmm. have turned out to be very strong humble man a man who loves God and that's what we need in a time like this and I know that you came during the time of our pandemic when um, things are just crazy we have not been able to go into the sanctuary yeah. uh, but you've shown that you're very versatile you're, you, you, you you outside sweating I'll be mm -hmm. over there preaching and then I look over everybody else under the tent but you under the sun, sun. as if you need a tan <laughs> <laughs> but, ah, but, but, but you're there and you're very faithful even on Sunday when we had to go inside the gym mm -hmm. uh, you you were right there doing what you need to do and you got that traditional spin we appreciate you so very much right. listen I, I wanted to know what, where are you planning to take Ezion Fair? Now, I, as a pastor, I know what my vision is for the church, and you have married that vision. Mm -hmm. But as the minister of 
music. Mm. What are some of your plans for Ezai and Fair? Well, it, uh, it, in Ezion Fair, Ezion Fair, rich history. Uh, you guys have did an amazing recording uh, about ten years ago, and I was a part of that recording um, under your leadership as well, and uh, also under the leadership of Zachary Williams and, and Gabe Smallwood and Gabe. I'm yeah. sorry, Gabriel yeah. Smallwood as well, and. I'm telling you, that recording still mm -hmm. makes headlines. Mm -hmm. It's still an amazing recording. Yeah. It is still uh, is, is bobbing in my radio today. Mm -hmm. So I think that it's time for another one. Mm -hmm. It's been um, 10 years mm -hmm. since that time, and I would love to do another recording, uh, especially a 10 year anniversary okay. recording, because the last one was so great. I think even a few of those songs will take and remake them and even make them better, some of your favorite uh, songs, but uh, we're going to even start working on that, and I think that's going to be uh, phenomenal. Wow, you that's know. awesome. You know. and, and, and I just want to say, you know, we have many of our members who will be watching this, this time of coffee with Dr. Curry and the community, but I want to say to you in front of everybody that I'm looking forward to supporting you 100% mm -hmm. with that project mm -hmm. and with the leadership, leading of the music ministry. Mm -hmm. I've decided something, that God has called me to pastor. Mm -hmm. And what I want to do is I want to lead the people, give the vision, mm -hmm. and allow people to be free mm -hmm. to do what God has called them to do. And you are really falling into that greatly. And on Sunday mornings, I don't have to worry about anything. Mm -hmm. I don't even have to look over and say, are you going to help me? Mm -hmm. You start helping me before I ask you to help. So I appreciate you so very much. And before we depart our time together today, I just wonder, is there anything you would like to share to the world, to our church at this time? You can look at that camera and just say whatever you so desire. E. Zion, I love you. Thank you so much for having me. Uh, I felt your warmth, your cares, your love, uh, ever since, even before I became Minister of Music. Uh, I felt your love when I was with you when I was 15. Mm. And uh, I am now 40. And I thank God for uh, having me here. Uh, I can't wait uh, to start this uh, process of recording with you guys. Uh, thank you to all the singers, all the musicians. Uh, I appreciate all of you. He's, you guys are awesome. We have an amazing group of singers here at this church. It, you guys make it so very easy, and I love it. Thank you. I love you. Thank you very much. And I was going to end the interview right there, but I want to say you do have the right shirt on, so politically you are correct. <laughs> Wilmington's most exciting it's church. The most exciting Amen. church. And, and I tell you, yeah. you came prepared. And I want to say also to your wife, even though I recognize we have asked you to come on board to be our minister of music, but I really appreciate the level of support that your wife renders when the word of God, as well as when the songs of Zion are being lifted. Mm. She is like the cheerleader of all cheerleaders. And yeah. I asked someone privately, yeah. I said, is she just doing that because he's new they said if it's real she's there mm -hmm. if it's fake <laughs> you are right. fading away yeah, so right. I really appreciate that so I want to say to your wife I'm sure she'll be watching this as well we appreciate you we love you and all the things you do to keep him strong so that he'll be able to be the man that he is and I praise God for y'all lifestyle where y'all lovers of the word so brother yeah. Mars thank you so very much thank you thank you me. very much we'll be right back